Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to build an automatic guitar tuner using Simulink and an Arduino. Let's take a quick look at the project in action. So here we have our guitar tuner, we have our audio input circuit, we have our motor driver here, here's our motor and our tuning peg gripper, and here we have our LED display with a push button so you can select through the six strings. And as you can see, our guitar is very out of tune right now. So we're going to go ahead and tune it one string at a time. And once you play the string and the motor stops turning, that's how you know the string is in tune and you can move on. All right. And now our guitar is in tune. Here's an overview diagram of what we saw in the video. Once you select the string that you want to tune using the push button, the LED that corresponds to that string will be turned on. The algorithm running on the Arduino takes the input from the electric guitar, and as you play each string, the motorized gripper will turn the tuning peg on the guitar until the string is in tune. All of this is made possible using four different circuits mentioned here, and the algorithm itself. For this project, you'll need the Simulink support package for Arduino hardware. If you already have MATLAB and Simulink, you can get it for free by opening MATLAB, going to the Home tab, opening the drop-down under Add-ons, and clicking Get Hardware Support Packages. First, let's take a look at the digital input and digital output circuits. All you need are six LEDs, a push button, and two resistors. Connect them as shown in the diagram. This setup will allow you to use the push button to select through the six different strings of the guitar. Now let's go to Simulink to take a closer look at the state flow chart that I've built for this. Before we talk about this Simulink model in detail, I want to point out that I'm connected to the Arduino board via a USB cable, and the code generated by this Simulink model is running on the hardware. One of the cool features in Simulink is that I can monitor any portion of my algorithm using a scope block as the code is still running on the hardware. This is like probing a signal in an electrical circuit using an oscilloscope. In this case, I can monitor the push button using this scope block here. Every time I press the push button, the value on the digital input block changes from 0 to 1. We call this a rising trigger. I've set this state flow chart up so that when the rising trigger event happens, the state changes from one string to the next. I have the low E string, the lowest of the six strings, chosen as my default state. I've set these states so that upon entry to each state, the corresponding LED pin for that string is set to high to turn on the LED. Upon exiting the state, the pin is set to low to turn the LED off. The state flow chart has seven outputs, six for the LEDs for each string, and one called period range, which I'll talk about later. The six LED outputs go straight to the Arduino digital output blocks. Now let's take a look at how the audio input circuit works. If you look at the end of a guitar cable, you'll notice two sections of metal, known as the tip and the sleeve. One end of the cable is plugged into an input jack, where I've soldered wires to the leads for the tip and the sleeve so that I can bring the audio signal into my circuit. The circuit shown here allows the Arduino to properly read the guitar signal. The output of this circuit goes to the analog input pin A0 on the Arduino board. Now let's go to Simulink to see how to bring this audio signal in. Here we have an analog input block going into a scope block. I've set the sample time of the input block to an equivalent of a 5 kHz sampling rate. Open the audio scope and play your guitar, and you should see a waveform appear. You can adjust the potentiometer in your circuit to change the gain of the amplifier if necessary. You want to set the gain as high as possible without the signal reaching its maximum value of 1023. From the scope, we can see that when I'm not playing the guitar, the audio signal value is around 550. It will usually be somewhere between 500 and 700. Another cool feature in Simulink is you can tune parameters as the code is still running on the hardware without having to recompile the code. Using this, I'm going to change my threshold value to just above 550 so that the threshold is only crossed when I play a note. I will choose 575. The next step is to take this audio input and generate the outputs for my motor. When I play a note on my guitar, the audio input is a waveform that is periodic. The period of this waveform corresponds to a certain frequency and a certain musical pitch. I've previously written a MATLAB function that estimates the pitch of the string by determining the period of this waveform. The MATLAB function also determines the direction the motor should be turning and if the motor should be turning at all. I can take advantage of that function in Simulink by using the MATLAB function block shown here. 
The state flow chart tells the MATLAB function what range of periods is considered in tune based on which string is selected. This is the output period range from the chart, which changes depending on the state of the chart. As you can see, the period range is one of the inputs to the MATLAB function, and the other two are the audio signal and the threshold value. The threshold ensures that when there's nothing being played, the motor doesn't turn. The MATLAB function has three outputs corresponding to the three pins used to control the motor. The outputs go straight to Arduino digital output blocks. Now let's go back and look at the motor driving circuit. The L293D chip allows you to control the motor using three digital output pins from the Arduino. You can turn the motor in either direction depending on the states of these three pins. I used a 9 volt battery as the power source for the motor and connected the motor driving circuit as shown here. Now I can deploy the Simulink model to my Arduino so that the tuner can run standalone on the board, independent from Simulink.